What's up guys, Jonah here, and in case you weren't paying attention, here's the latest from the world of sports. Thrust into the starting job in San Francisco, rookie quarterback Brock Purdy is shedding his Mr. Irrelevant label in dramatic fashion. Meanwhile, the future of UFC has a name. It's Raul Rosas Jr. And finally, after being detained in Russia for almost 10 harrowing months, WNBA star Brittany Griner is finally back home. Sit back, relax, and take this in. Two weeks ago, if you knew the name Brock Purdy, it was likely for dubious reasons. In the very recent past, the Iowa State quarterback was best known for being 2022's Mr. Irrelevant, which is the unflattering designation handed out to the last overall pick in the NFL Draft. Well, eight months after being taken by the 49ers with the 262nd overall selection, Mr. Irrelevant is looking like San Francisco's savior. Since taking over for starting QB Jimmy Garoppolo, who recently went down with what appears to be a season-ending foot injury, Purdy has been nothing short of exceptional, coming off the bench early in Week 13 to carry San Francisco to a huge win over the Miami Dolphins, then outclassing Tom Brady, the GOAT himself, in Week 14 in his first career start. Purdy's confidence and poise in his baptism by fire against Miami earned him some big-time respect and a flattering new moniker in the 49ers locker room, but now, in the wake of his electrifying performance against Brady and the Buccaneers, we all have to put some respect on his name. With throngs of family and friends in the stands, an extended winning streak on the line, and the greatest quarterback ever on the opposite sideline, Purdy played like a seasoned vet, throwing for 185 yards, a pair of touchdowns, and running in another score himself to propel the 49ers to a commanding 35-7 victory. His performance helped extend San Francisco's winning streak to six games while bringing tears to his father's eyes. It also continued Purdy's assault on the history books. After becoming the first Mr. Irrelevant ever to throw a touchdown pass in week 13, Purdy on Sunday became the first quarterback ever to make his first career start against Brady and win. Purdy is also now the first QB in the Super Bowl era with multiple passing touchdowns, a rushing touchdown, and a QB rating of 125 or higher in his first career start. Overall, in two weeks as the 49ers signal caller, Purdy has completed more than 70% of his pass attempts while throwing for four touchdowns to just one interception. Two of those scores, by the way, came on deep throws, giving him more deep passing touchdowns on the season than Garoppolo. Simply put, the first chapter of Purdy's career has been nothing short of incredible, and although the sample has been small so far, the first place 49ers seem to have all the confidence in the world in Mr. Irrelevant. While the two co-main events at UFC 282 were more controversial and underwhelming than fans might have hoped, the night was still a memorable one thanks to the debut performance of one hugely talented youngster. Squaring off in the featured preliminary match, 18-year-old bantamweight Raul Rosas Jr. became both the youngest fighter in UFC history and the youngest winner in UFC history, submitting Jay Perrin with a rear naked choke less than three minutes into the first round. Put another way, a high school senior who doesn't have his driver's license yet forced a grown man to tap out in his UFC debut. No matter what you think of Perrin, who, it's worth noting, doesn't have a win in the UFC, that's impressive, especially considering how in control Rosas was from practically the opening belt. With the victory, the Contender Series graduate improved his record to a perfect 7-0 as a pro and opened a whole lot of eyes around the sport, earning plaudits from a bevy of UFC stars. Of those seven victories, by the way, only one has come by way of decision. He's a finisher, this kid, and he's got some lofty goals, too. Following his victory at UFC 282, Rosas made it clear he's gunning to be the youngest UFC champ ever and take that distinction away from John Jones, who was 23 when he unseated light heavyweight champ Shogun Rua. Obviously, he's still a ways away from entering the title fight conversation, but Rosas has nevertheless put the UFC on notice. El Nino Problema has arrived. At long last, Brittany Griner is back. After being detained in Russia for nearly 10 months, the WNBA star, who had been convicted on drug charges and sentenced to nine years in prison, was recently freed in a prisoner swap that saw the US release arms dealer Victor Bout in exchange for Griner. The swap capped an unimaginably harrowing ordeal for Griner, who had originally headed to Russia to play basketball during the WNBA's offseason and ended up a political pawn. 
As of Monday, Griner was undergoing medical evaluation at Fort Sam Houston in Texas, and it wasn't clear how long she'll remain there, but fans and well-wishers should be heartened by the fact that she's already hooping again. As her agent told ESPN, Griner returned to the basketball court for the first time in almost 10 months on Sunday and promptly threw down a dunk. Still, don't assume that Griner is going to immediately resume her WNBA career. Griner's agent stressed that there's no timeline for her return to the Phoenix Mercury and added that if she wants to play, it'll be for her to share. Stay tuned. That's it for today, folks. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to smash that subscribe button. As always, we appreciate you. We'll see you next time.